A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, I want A plus B. English doesn't so much fun. English education for you and everyone to come along. Learn some grammar. Hey. Learn a phrase. Learn something new every day. Learn the A plus way. Welcome everyone to A Plus English. I'm Adam, and I'm Elsie. And oh man, my eyes have been hurting a little bit this morning after waking yeah, up. Yeah, what happened to your eyes? I don't know. So I have to wear contacts, right?、Mm -hmm. I have to put in my eyeballs essentially, and sometimes I just can't get them in in the morning, and then I'm just messing around, and my eye hurts all day. Oh, but can you imagine? There are people that cannot even see. I know, and we would say those people are blind people, and that actually leads us to our article today, which is titled "A Guide to Helping Blind People."、Hmm. So for our warm-up question, like we were talking about, imagine you're blind. What problems would you face in daily life? How would you deal with them? Wow, I mean that is a really hard question. Yeah, because they... there's probably a lot of things、hmm. that you know you would. That would be hard or difficult in your daily life. Yeah, I agree with you. You can't、mm. drive, the, right? If you are blind,、mm. and maybe you can't read, you can't see things clearly. Right. You can't do things by yourselves. Yeah, exactly. You'd have a lot of difficulty doing a lot of things that we're so used to relying on our eyes. Yeah. I mean, you might、uh, need somebody to help you go to、mm -hmm. the grocery store, right? Right. So blind people do need a lot of help.、Uh, yeah, I mean, I think they do need some help. I don't know if it's a lot of help because you see a lot of blind people by themselves out walking around. Oh yeah, they're fine with yeah, it, right? Doing their own thing. Good.、So. But we have to take a look at our article to learn how we can help blind people. Yeah, if they want our help. If they want our help, that's、mm. the key thing, right? You just don't say. You don't just see a blind person and be like. Here I come to save the day. Right, right? don't bother them. Exactly,、mm. you want to allow them. And so today we are going to learn the correct ways of how to help blind people if they need our help. A guide to helping blind people. Warm-up question: Imagine you're blind. What problems would you face in daily life? How would you deal with them? You're walking outside. And you hear a cane on the sidewalk. You see a blind person. Should you offer help? Here's a guide for helping people with visual impairments. First, ask, "Do you need help?" Wait for a yes or no answer. Well, our article, everyone asks us to imagine something. You're walking outside. And you hear a cane on the sidewalk. You have a cane, right? <laughs> yes. You bought it after you broke your ankle. Yes, I do. I do have a、hmm. blue cane, and I needed it because, like you said, I broke my ankle, and I could barely get around the house without it. Right. So canes do help people walk. They're very useful. They are very useful. But in our article, usually this is maybe a long white cane. And that's what we're guessing since we're talking about, you know, how to help blind people. Our article jumps back to saying, "You see a blind person. Should you offer help?" Hmm. So if you see a blind person, do you offer help? Well, I mean, if they're having trouble, right? Do you offer them help? Do you go up to them if they're having maybe trouble? What? This is a good question. You know, I always think helping strangers is kind of. Dangerous. Oh, okay. Yes.、Yeah, sure. I don't really do that on the streets. <laughs> yeah. You don't know what they actually want, right? Right. But、um, if I see a blind person having trouble on the street, yeah, I think I would go up to the person and ask if I can help them. Okay.、Mm. So 
Yeah. Uh, do you think I would go up to him or go and I help? I think you you will you know definitely go <laughs> help them. Yeah, I am a people pleaser, so I might, but. I would maybe think twice about it because my Chinese isn't that great, right? So I might accidentally make it harder for them if they were asking me for, you know, a directions、mm -hmm. or or something like that. Yeah, so, that's a good point. So、right. you might want to wait for someone else to give them some help. Right. But what can we do if we are trying to give them help? Ah,、uh, well, good question. Our article says. Here's a guide for helping people with visual impairments. So, Elsie, did you know that a lot of people are visually impaired not because they are actually blind, but their eyesight is just very, very bad. Oh, I know, and my eyesight is terrible. <laughs> yeah. Right. If I、yeah. take out my lenses,、yeah. or if I don't wear my glasses, yeah. I can barely see things.、Mm. Do you know what my eyesight is? Ah, <sighs> no, I don't know the actual number, but I know when you do put on your glasses, they are very thick. They look like you know, very thick glasses. Look like what? Look like flies?、Uh, <laughs> maybe like a <laughs> yeah, big, they are、like、a thick. Bug. They're very thick. Yeah. So, how do we help people who are blind or visually impaired? All right. Well, our article says first ask. Do you need help? Wait for a yes or no answer. Oh, just like what we said. Exactly.、Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't want to just jump up in and help them right away. And、uh, if they don't need it, it might be kind of scary, right? You're like,、mm -hmm. hey, I'm going to help you.、Oh. And you're like, oh, okay, I don't need your help. Yeah. So. so wait for their answer before you help them. If they don't want to be bothered, it's okay that you leave them alone. Yeah, you don't want to invade their privacy,、mm. and you never know. So. That's a good first start to how、yeah. to help、uh, blind people. If the person needs help, let them hold your arm above your elbow. You'll walk in front, and they'll follow. Tell them when you're about to use stairs or meet other obstacles. Give specific directions, like the door is five steps away and is on the left. Don't use words like "over there." If the person has a guide dog, don't pet it. The dog is working right now. So the first thing is to ask if the person needs help and wait for the answer.、Mm -hmm. Now our article says, if the person needs help, let them hold your arm above. Your elbow. Oh, this part of the arm. Right here. Yeah,、mm -hmm. I mean that is probably a good idea just to be respectful, right? Yeah. You don't just want to or grab someone and says who can't see and say, "Hey, come here, I'm going to help you." That's rude. <laughs> yeah, you you better let them do it, and it's above the elbow is. We would say an appropriate appropriate place to help someone.、Hmm. So elbow is here. Yeah. And let them grab your. Is it called upper arm or? Yeah, you could say、Not、upper、really. arm or bicep area. Uh huh.、Yeah. Okay. So you don't want to grab someone and then touch or hold them somewhere where they wouldn't want to be held. Exactly.、Mm. Right.、You、so、know. that's a great point. <laughs> you, you wouldn't want to say, "Oh, I'm going to help you," and then grab them by the neck like, or、oh. grab the, by the shoulders where they don't like it. Yeah, it could、mm. be uncomfortable. All right. So next, it says you'll walk in front and they'll follow. Tell them when you're about to use stairs or other. Or meet other obstacles. So you need to be very careful when you are helping them get around things. These people are really trusting you. Exactly, they're very they're very trusting, and you wouldn't want to walk too fast, too, right? So they couldn't keep up. So when there are stairs, you can tell them, "Oh, watch out! There、mm -hmm. are stairs,"、mm -hmm. and yeah, just be careful when you guide them. Yeah, be like, "There's something on your right.、Mm. There's something on your left," and. You, because I mean, basically, when you're helping someone, you really are their human guide dog,、mm. right? Yeah, a lot of guide dogs help blind people. Exactly, and that's what we'll get into later. Next, the third thing is give specific directions, like the door is five steps away and is on the left. Don't use words like "ah,、oh, 
over there. Yeah, over where? <laughs> they don't exactly. know. So see, this is where I might mess up. Okay, so I might not be great at giving directions or telling people how far things are away. So when you get lost in Taipei or in、mm -hmm. Taiwan, do you ask for directions or do you look at Google Maps? Uh, thank, th thankfully, Google Maps is there.、Uh -huh. But、um, when I first came, I didn't have a really good smartphone, so I well, just you didn't have a smartphone when you came. It was like a BlackBerry. I've been here that long. Ah,、oh, uh, okay. And so I would just ride the bus around. Uh huh. And just see where the bus would stop and get on. I just get on buses and ride around and see where my home was. <laughs> it was very. It was very. How do you say in Chinese, mafani or mafan? I I don't know. But when, when you ask <laughs>、mm. for directions, were people all nice to you? Yeah, people are nice to me.、Mm. That's the great thing about Taiwan. Everyone is very helpful here, and so usually now I'll just use Google Maps. But our fourth thing for our article about helping blind people is if the person has a guide dog, don't pet it. The dog is working right now. Yeah, no matter how cute the dog is, don't、mm -hmm. pet it. Like, oh my god, look at the dog, and you pet the dog. It's also rude. So,、um, guide dogs do wear uniforms, right? I've seen them wear red vests. Yeah, usually they'll have like a when red they vest. are working. Right when、mm. they are working, yeah. So I mean, these are dogs are very well trained. So, yes. So yeah, you got to be respectful of those kind of.、Uh, Guide dogs. Yeah, so not every dog, nor not、uh, not every person, can help the blind people. Exactly. Yeah. So, know your role. We would say maybe.、Mm -hmm. All right. So we'll learn more tomorrow.、Yeah. And now we have to go to our vocabulary teaching. 今天要看到的第一个单词是 blind 这个形容词，代表失明的、盲的。那我们可以搭配前面动词有 become 或是 go。Become blind or go blind， 那就是变成失明的状态。像是呢 ，She went blind at the age of eight。她八岁的时候失明了。那我们可以用 blind 来形容 people，blind people 就是失明的人、看不见的人，也可以用 the blind 好来说他们。那再来呢，当我们要说爱情是盲目的。当你谈恋爱的时候，看不到对方的缺点，那就代表 love is blind。好，你也可以用这个形容词放到句子里面来说。那单词例句给的是呢 ，The girl held the blind man's hand and helped him cross the street safely。女孩牵着那名视障者的手，帮助他安全的过马路。那第二个单词是 elbow， 这个名词就是你的手肘、肘部。好，那再来呢？如如果用这个手臂来说，整个手臂是 arm， 到了前方这个就是手了 hand。好，然后还有 fingers， 手指头。那这个手肘 elbow 的位置在你的腿上的话，就像是你的 knees， 像是你的膝盖。那单词例句给的是呢 ，James hurt his arm a few days ago and now he can't move his elbow。James 几天前弄伤了他的手臂，现在他的手肘是不能动的。那再来第三个，我们要看到这个复数名词 the。Directions 是指示、说明。那你要给出指示、说明的话，我们就搭配动词 give 就可以了。那另外呢 ，directions 还可以是路径指示哦。Give somebody directions to 后面加上地方，那就是告诉某人怎么样到达某处。那如果你要问路的话，问路的动作是 ask for directions。单词例句给的是呢 ，Ricky followed the directions to finish building the table。Ricky 照着指示将这张桌子组装完成。那最后一个单词是 step 这个名词，它代表的是一步之距。好，那如果我们说 take a step， 那就是走一步的距离。那另外呢 ，step 还可以是步骤的意思，像是 step one、step two， 步骤一、步骤二。可能你在看食谱的时候会看到它。那你要 follow each step， 就是跟着每一个步骤走。那步骤的说明书就是 a step by step。Guide. 单词例句给的是呢 ，The library is only a few steps away from our house. You don't have to drive there. 图书馆离我们家只有数步之遥，你是不需要开车的。好了，那现在就到 review time 去吧。Review time. 
Okay, everyone, now that brings us to our review time, and we're going to re review our vocabulary with fill in the blanks. But first, let's go over our words.、Mm. The first word we have is blind. 形容词失明的，盲的。Next one we have is elbow. 肘部，名词。Next one is directions. 复数名词指示说明 And the last one is step. 名词一步之距 Okay, so for the first question, you're going to fill in the word that we're practicing, and you guys can try at home as well. All right. So you have one man. Maybe he is standing at the bus stop. He's going to ask the next door or his、uh, the stranger.、Uh, excuse me, sir. Can you please give me blah blah to Taipei one hundred and one? Ah,、oh, can you please give me directions to Taipei one hundred and one? Can you、go. tell me how I can get to Taipei one hundred and one? Exactly.、Mm. Give me the directions. Okay. Okay. My turn.、Mm -hmm. The little boy, Adam, fell from the tree yesterday、mm -hmm. and hurt his. Blank. Okay, so the little boy Adam fell from a fell from a tree and hurt his what? Well, it wouldn't be blind and it wouldn't be stabbed, so he had to hurt something else. It would be his elbow. He hurt his elbow. Yeah, elbow. Okay, so there is still blind and stab, and、okay. I think our students can try to you know practice with their friends or classmates or family to make sentences. All right. Well, you guys heard the the boss. Uh, you try at your own leisure to do that, and that is all the time we have for now. We'll see you on the flip side. Bye for now. Bye bye. Magic box. 我们呢都知道，英文里面要形容东西呢，就是要用形容词。形容词呢，通常都是放在名词前面。例如呢，嗨，我是一个帅气的男孩 ，I am a handsome boy。但是呢，这个我们就是形容词。其实呢，形容名词呢，还有一种用法呢，就叫做后位修饰。这些后位修饰呢，就是呢，用介系词把自己给躲在名词后面。嘿、hey, ，竟然可以躲到后。后面这样子啊，我怎么找得到呢？不过没有关系哦，今天呢，我阿吉拉就要呢跟你一起来把他们给找出来，以后呢，你们就不用再怕他了。后卫兄弟的用法呢，其实就是用介系词引导的介系词片语哦，放在名词后面来做修饰了。讲的这么玄，其实呢，你一定已经看过它了。比方说呢，我们说 a book on the table， 一本在桌上的书。这里的 on 啊，其实就是介系词，所以 a book 是什么样的书呢？ On the table， 在桌上的那一本书了。这个呢，就是我们所谓后位修饰的用法啦。有哪些介系词可以这么使用呢？首先呢，我们刚刚看过形容位置的，像是呢 ，On the table， 在桌上，或者是呢 ，The boy in the classroom， 在教室里面的男孩哦。On 呢，就是在上面 ；In 呢，就是在里面，或者是呢，像是 In front of。在前面或是 behind， 在后面，这些呢都是用来表示位置常用的介系词。那刚刚提到的 in 在里面，除了说什么东西在什么地方里面之外呢，日常生活中我们穿衣服，哎，我们呢也是把身体包在衣服里面，所以 in 呢也可以用来表示穿什么衣服啦。例如呢，我本人就是 the guy in a black jacket， 穿黑色外套的男人。我们就说人 in 什么衣服，形容穿什么样衣服的。另外啊，我们也可以使用 with。With 呢，就是表示有什么样的外表特征，或是呢有什么样的配件哦。比方说呢 ，the girl with big eyes， OK， 有大眼睛的女孩，或者是呢 ，a house with two bathrooms， 一间呢有这个两间浴室的房子。最后呢，我们看到 about about 呢，就是用来表示关系跟什么有关的。
。例如啊，因为呢，我想要多认识我老婆志玲姐姐的家乡台南。I read a book about 台南啊，我读了一本哦，这个跟台南有关的书哦。最后呢，帮你整理一下，在名词后面呢，用介系词引导的介系词片语就可以用来修饰名词，功能呢就好像形容词一样了。有哪些呢？表示位置的呢，我们可以用 in。On, in front of, 或者是呢 behind, 在上面，在里面，在前面，在后面，这些呢表示位置的介系词。那表示穿什么衣服呢？我们就用 in。至于 with, with 呢，则是表示你有什么特征，比方说呢眼睛很大，或者是啊有什么配件，像是呢有戴了这个这个太阳眼镜等等。那 about 呢，这个介系词则是表示有关系的，比方说呢跟台南有关的书，跟煮饭有关的电视节目等等。这些呢，就是我们所谓后位修饰的用法，其实非常简单，不要害怕它喽。